Look at this. I really don't get Florida weather sometimes. It is very nice and sunny out. But man, the cool breeze, it's just like really cold, especially to me. I don't know why. It, it, it could just be me. But anyways, welcome back to another video, YouTube, man. And we got some work done yesterday. We're just going to do a little bit of light work today. And like always, man, I got to make sure I drop you guys at least one video a day. You know what I'm saying? That is my goal with this whole YouTube journey is I got to make sure I at least drop one YouTube video a day for you guys. Look, check this out. Shout out to one of the uh, subscribers. Actually, go give him a follow, man. He don't have no posts, but that's his uh, Instagram like from the 813, so like Tampa area. But anyways, so he actually sent me a message on the, the official YouTube Instagram. And look, he was like, yo, bro, I seen the white OBS you did a box for on Saturday at the Trocas and Caballos. And that was bumping. So you heard her. And man... That right there, you know, gives me motivation to make sure to, you know, drop nice builds um, to these videos and somewhat, you know, interact with you guys so you guys can go to some of the events so you can see these builds in person. The videos and pictures do no justice. Everything in person always looks so much better. And, you know, it's good for you guys to see some stuff that maybe, um, some people never build um, because the stuff that I've seen and I've built um, I rarely see it not saying that we do some exclusive work but we do some exclusive work but the styles that I've grown to build and been around and you know been a part of and seen um, it's different from most stuff from what other um, builders and shops do it's just always good to get a little bit creative and go a little bit more into detail to make sure that you give good um, products, which is your boxes, door panels, whatever it is, out on these streets so everybody can see it. And once they do see it, they like, you know, that, that's really cool, that's really awesome. It was loud, you know, you want that kind of factor on everybody, not just on some people. Like I said, man, we only barely getting started on these builds. You know, we have a whole lifetime to go. Um, as long as YouTube is, you know, um, up and running, and you know we have a few rides here and there that we can work on uh, man the builds are going to keep coming they're going to keep getting louder uh cleaner and everything so man that's why you need to subscribe to the channel and definitely turn on that notification bell because the builds are cool they're loud and man they, the grind don't stop man we got to make sure that we keep building stuff good loud clean all of the above you feel me if you guys ain't watched yesterday's video man go ahead and make sure you guys watch it um, the console build is st has started and right now there's nothing on it because we are actually at a standstill because we are waiting for these LED lights or neon lights that um, the customer ordered for those but you know with him and everybody else and even myself when I try to order stuff from Amazon it hasn't got here um, doesn't get here on time before you can order something on Amazon it'll be on your front door the next day but nowadays it's you know a little bit more time a day delay stuff like that so i mean i don't know we we can't blame amazon and we can't blame no one it's just um so many people place orders and you know stuff does get backed up it's a, it's a real world so we really can't blame nobody you know it's just so many orders um i mean they can hire more people get more of the little machine robots more trucks whatever but that's on um big big boy Je uh, jeff bezos whatever his name is to come down, I can't tell him how to run his business, you feel me? He's a gazillionaire, you know, so obviously he knows what he's doing and he doesn't need advice from me or nobody else, you know. He, he's created his foundation and his businesses and they've been working. Uh, the man knows what he's doing, man. So shout out to Jeff, man. I want to be like you one day. So yeah, the console's actually coming along and as you can see, um, without nothing on it it's just a simple console so look how it came in just a simple console with a sub hole cut out and a port on the bottom but you know after we get done with her um dress her up real nice give her a little um facelift man that thing is going to be a whole other console and honestly like a console like this price wise after all said and done and fiberglass vinyls in it and everything the worth of this console is probably like between the 800 area you know i want to say 
um, because it is fiberglass it is good in vinyl um, and fiberglass work is a little bit more expensive because it takes a little bit more time and creativity to build and then you know with all the material that goes into it you know it's you know it's a good pricey you know adventure you know fiberglass stuff is pretty pricey and then you know you may have two fiberglass builders you know for example one guy can be building this like one customer can go to two different people and he can go to one um, installer fabricator and go to another one and you know the one guy can be like oh four hundred dollars for the fiberglass console blah 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 and now you can go to the other guy and you know be like eight hundred to a thousand dollars but you pay you pay for what you get you feel me the the four hundred dollar guy may just do everything flat as simple as possible but the 800 guy is going to make sure that stuff curves angled um you know it fits a little bit more and has a little bit more of creativity into it and make it one of a kind versus you know it's the same console over and over and over and over um so you know pricing goes a long way creativity goes a long way and you know the it's all of the uh, the builder's choice whether if he wants to push himself to make that you know build a little bit unique you feel me so always you know make sure that you talk it over with your builder and make sure that you know both of you are on the same page so when you feel that you paid a certain amount and you didn't get that much work um you know you you guys are both on the same page and you know then there's reasons why maybe some do less and more than others you know what i'm saying because it does take time it does take way more materials and it actually takes the skill and creativity to build some nice stuff so not everybody has the same vision and the same um worksmanship um perseverance to go ahead and make sure to get stuff done and make it look you know really badass so basically the console is at a hold for today but big but we actually have to go over the white silverado because he had hit me up um because it is easter weekend and over here um so the beach gets popping and then but that's just like um I guess the beach, you know, it gets all right, you know. I haven't been to the beach in a good little minute, but back in the day, man, that was the spot to go. All the low riders and, the, you know, trucks and all that stuff go out there. And But that thing just gets ridiculous packed, and, you know, after a while, they shut it down, and to be stuck in traffic and all that, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight with just being here at the crib, but big butt, big butt. Man, we in a beautiful state. Of Florida man where we host the biggest you know hood events that that are the best ones man I'm just gonna put it like that can't no one top Florida events um, Easter is another big event I don't know if it gets like it used to get man but Sarasota which is a few cities over man that thing gets crunk you know people got to understand there's probably people right now probably dropping at least like a hundred thousand dollars in cars just trying to get right for Easter um, and like same thing like I was having a conversation with my homeboy the other day man Florida classics one of the biggest car shows um, And you know events and block party man. I think that whole weekend, you know It's a whole weekend from Friday to Sunday that whole event, you know is the number one place to go to like I Me personally man like can't no other car show truck show none of that stuff top the Florida classics That's big boys only you feel me. That's when you really find out if you got you know a a badass ride if you're trying to compete or even if you're just out there getting it you know like man that you you deserve to be out there because you put in the work the time to get your ride out there and if you're out there man whether if it's a regular car normal car whatever man you out there you are the man you feel me florida classics man people drop probably like at least like a million or two you know between cars and you know all kinds of stuff dunks man dunks can cost almost like five hundred thousand dollars to build and imagine if you're an owner of two dunks and you try to take them out man that's a million dollars right there you know and psh, dunks that thing's flooded supercars flooded all that stuff's out there flooded man so that's big money out there you see what i'm saying so that's if you can go out there and you can hang then you're a big dog you feel me and me i really i'd go to the other car shows but really i just really always just care about the florida classics you know i could take a whole year working on my car which we are going to take pretty much a whole year working on the silverado but we're going to get it right for the florida classics because we can make a statement out there this year man so subscribe to the channel and definitely subscribe to the mousetrap tv because um on some of the videos that i do drop or clips 
are from the Ford of Classics and around from here. The next big show that's going to hit is Dunk Day. And that's right here in Dover, Florida. So stay tuned for those videos, man. So subscribe. But definitely subscribe to Mousetrap TV. All right. So we actually have sound again. And as you can see, like these Terra amps, instead of having like four inputs, it has three. So you either have a bridge or you series this guy up. And I think that's where a lot of people get confused on these Terra amps. And I think that's where he got confused on why there was three and not the full four. But the way that these are designed, they're designed to actually give you a lot more power um, because obviously when you bridge stuff, it gives you a lot more power. So you actually have to know a little bit about ohm loads and you know just figure out how to connect them. So basically, it's series in there um, because the way that the ohm loads are, um, it's like at like 4.5 or like five something um, ohm loads at uh, mono but you see it has the center where you put where you series it up at it has it right there in the center and that's where people get confused at but you know that's just the way how these amps are designed to be and in the beginning I was getting confused too but you know I did a couple research um, I put a tear amp in my truck and you know we got the hang of it and so obviously now we got sound these other three uh, inputs are for the tweeters but his tweeters are blown so um, we're not gonna hook nothing up and so we had already ran a extra tweeter wire into the console in case he ever did anything else and the other tweeter um, for um, the doors um, so there you guys have it so basically now he just needs to replace his tweeters and I think the truck should be ready to rock and roll alright guys so I it's safe to say that this guy is done you know minus the blown tweeters um, that he has to go buy and replace um, this thing's a thousand percent uh, I just like had the truck playing mids and highs only and I was banging on the console shaking it and all the connections are pretty good on it um, everything's plugged in I closed the passenger door and um, was banging on the console and it should have cut out if there was an issue with it um, so everything's pretty good let me show you again in the back so I actually clipped the tweeter wires I am gonna clip the other tweeter wire in the door just to be on the safer side um, but you know my connections are in there good we heat shrink them and now what I'm gonna do is just vacuum out my mess that I made and let me get my lighter too because man I always lose all my lighters um, and we're gonna vacuum it out pull it out to the front and we'll call this guy done and um, like I said the tweeters are blown so he's gonna have to get new tweeters and then he can replace them um, and I mean that's it then he can be ready for Easter and be jamming like I said people go to the beach on Easter but we're gonna do some hood stuff man we're gonna go out to the hood in uh, Sarasota and we'll probably go to St. Pete and see what's popping man you know because those two places are the places to be for Easter man so let me go ahead and finish up this truck and vacuum it out I'm gonna go ahead and park it and then we'll close out the video guys so man shout out to all the OG subscribers shout out to the new subscribers shout out to the people that are not subscribed man shout out to everybody man you guys are you know doing you know hell of a job on the channel um, I'm doing my part dropping some videos you guys are doing your part liking the video subscribing you know all of the above man so um, it's truly a blessing to have you guys as my um, audience on this YouTube journey that I'm trying to you know tackle but man go ahead and subscribe to my other channel man let's get that thing going a lot of plenty of heavy um, car content that's going to go up on that guy. I wanted to finish this truck early, man, because I wanted to drop like a few videos today on that channel so you guys can sit there, um, relax, and hang out and watch some videos, man. So, man, let's, let's get going, man. We're just trying to trap out day. All right, guys. So, the uh, white OBS truck it is done. It's sitting across the street pretty. Uh, we did all, uh, we connected the wires back into her. Uh, heat shrink the terminals. Um, put the... Um, the fork uh, terminals in there so it, it gets solid connection and it is done and like I said I even um, turned on the, the mids and highs turn it up just a tad bit and either at low volume or high volume uh, wiggle it and bang on the console a little bit and as well on the door and close the door open and closing it and we never once got that thing to cut out so um, and the EQ was connected good speaker wires behind the console were connected good and I mean I don't know it's it could have just been really flexing hard that day um, but then we connected the speaker wires up and the amp is working again 
the other set of channels are not connected because those are tweeters and obviously they're blown so he's gonna have to go get some tweeters and replace those guys and that truck will check it off the list and it is done and he can go jamming for the weekend and see what he um, what he does out there um, so now we are actually gonna get back to the scheduled program and work on the console but not today we're gonna do that tomorrow because we're still waiting on the LED tubes I could start working on the titty panel but it's already somewhat you know into the day and to get stuff out and you know start working on it um, it's a little bit of a pain because um, I do have to pick up kids from school at a certain point in the day and just to get some stuff out just to work for an hour or two it's not really worth it but my main thing is I wanted to drop a video guys video for you guys today because me personally I really don't like to miss not dropping a video but you know sometimes you know life happens and you know i get tired or you know we're just really busy throughout the day you know family wise kids wise whatever the situation is but i pretty much try to drop a video a uh, day for you guys to enjoy man so and i've been getting a lot of uh comments saying that you guys love the builds um you guys have been learning some stuff here and there or just watching the builds and i know i don't really go into detail with doing stuff man but the little stuff that we do do on the channel um, you guys it, it, it looks like you guys are learning a little bit I get messages all day like oh I built this box all these door panels and all that and man that's what this channel is all intended to do and I repeat again this is not a, a professional car audio channel you know if I would be working inside a shop getting paid an hourly rate then yes this would be considered a professional channel but man we were at the house we were chilling we're pretty much just trying to get trucks done around here in the area. I mean, you know, we're doing it for the culture. Um, and, you know, we do a couple builds here and there. They may not be perfect. We may not do it how other people do it or, you know, techniques how they're properly done. But, man, we get the jobs done. The people enjoy them. The audience enjoys them. And people along the way are learning stuff out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we don't have the high-class router tables, the high-class state-of-the-art jigsaws, templates, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So we use what we got around here, and we make it work. And then we do have beautiful outcomes at the end of the day and very loud outcomes. So, like I said, I repeat, this is not a professional channel. You know, we're not, you know, we don't do this for a living. This is just our, our hobby. Um, this is what we make content for for you guys. Um, you know, this is Backyard Customs, man. So um, we try to do a little bit so you guys can work with the tools that you got at home. I don't have everything, but I do have a little bit of stuff, and we try to make the best out of it. So um, subscribe to the channel, channel and hit that like and drop some comments, man, and subscribe to the other channels. I have a family channel that I'm going to start blogging on that, you know, um, on holidays if you guys are interested in watching, you know, what we do on the blogs. And I may just start, you know, including some people in the blogs and stuff like that just to kick it up a little bit so you guys can see ordinary life and, you know, just include that in with the car audio stuff and, you know, car show vlogs and stuff like that. So um, we got a lot of stuff planned for the channel. We're just steadily trying to grow and just trying to get more of an audience. But obviously, if we do more on the channel, we'll get of a bigger audience. So, um, man, subscribe to the channel, man. You guys are doing awesome. Uh, we got the other giveaway coming tomorrow that I'm going to announce. And we'll announce a winner. And stay tuned, man. So, we got a lot of good things going on, man. So, that's it for today. Um, thanks for you guys watching the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.